Nothing is worse than waiting too long to catch up with one of your best friends. Except embarrassing yourself with sweaty, yellow pit stains. Yikes! Take a regular shawl or pashmina and put it over your head. With both hands, pull both corners under your arms and in front of your chest. Tie them together in a knot, like so. Now here's the fun part. Take this knot and slide it over your head. Check it out! You've got a new funky vest to hide those unsightly pit stains. Take that, summer weather! Ever go from Netflix and chill to Netflix and clothing malfunction? Don't stress! You can fix this! Just take a pair of scissors and a pinch of creativity! It feels good being helpful, doesn't it? Place the torn pair of pants on a table in front of you. Fold them in half so one leg is on top of the other. Find the corner sticking out – that's the crotch of the pants that needs mending. By making this rip even bigger, you can now place your entire head through it. Now put your arms through what used to be the pant legs. They're now sleeves. Wow! They actually fit pretty nicely! And there you have it! A cute new crop top you can wear to work out in! Or lounge around and watch more Netflix. Hey, we don't judge! Alright, it's time to get our aerobics on! If you've ever worked out before, you know how important your attire can be. Yikes! Don't trip on those pants, Vicky! Ugh, this is so annoying! I keep having to stop to fix these things! Oh man, that fancy footwork is a disaster when paired with long pants. What were you thinking, Vicky? Okay, maybe this move will be a little safer with these long pants. Hey! You're on my pants! Woo! <sighs> I'm alright, I think. Phew, dealing with these things is a workout in itself. Wait a second. I think I know exactly how to fix this problem. BRB. Need some new, less dangerous workout pants? Instead of cutting them shorter, just change the bottom hem. Using regular thread, do a basic running stitch around the entire bottom of the pant leg opening, alternating the direction of the stitches. Once you've done the first side of the opening, pull the thread so that it puckers and tightens the whole thing. Once you've found the right size, go ahead and knot the strings and cut it. All right. I'm ready for round two! Check out these bad boys! If you have long pants like Vicky did, doing this can seriously save you from a nasty fall. See? What a difference! You've been looking forward to this party for weeks! Oh, hey girl! Wait a minute. She stole my look! Lucky for you, you have a creative mind to back you up. Slide that skirt up over your chest. Snag a belt, thin or thick, and cinch it to accentuate your waistline. Top it off with a cute denim jacket and voila! You've got an adorable party dress that no one else will have. Go on, give us a twirl. You know you want to. See? No need to fight. Here's to creativity. Cheers! Oh? Girls' night is tonight? I'm so not ready for this. I can't get away with wearing this, can I? Ugh. Let's see if I can scrounge something up. Whoa. Looking spicy, Bella. But unless you're going salsa dancing, this may be the wrong look. Maybe the bad girl look is more appropriate. Not sure I'm cool enough to pull this off. Going snugly is always a good idea. If you're 12. 
Hey, someone's looking pretty in pink. Definitely girls' night worthy. Hey, I can't reach the zipper. I can't wear it out open like this. Oh man. I need reinforcements. Need help reaching your zipper? Put a thread through the zipper's base. And use it to pull the zipper up. See? That was pretty smooth. A little piece of thread just saved the night. You got it, girl. Ever wake up like this? Oversleeping is the worst. Will you have time to get ready? Time to turn those PJs into a look. Slip the pants off and put both legs into one side. Now pull them up over your chest. Take the unused pant leg, scrunch it up, and slide your head through. Whoa! Super stylish for PJs, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> Sucker! Add a cute pair of heels and a bag and you're all set. And the best dressed award goes to… Right before you're getting ready to leave the house, picking out those finishing touches for your outfit is crucial. Like this adorable jacket, for example. And like your jacket, your shoes can really tie the outfit together. But what happens when your favorite pair turns on you? Look at these things! Did my dog use them as a chew toy or something? How am I supposed to fix these? But believe it or not, all hope is not lost. Head over to your sock drawer and see if you have any tights. Hmm, let's see… Ding ding ding! We have a winner! Turns out, you can make a new pair of adorable heeled boots in mere seconds. Start by slipping on your heels as you normally would. Next, take your tights and slip them onto your feet and up your leg. Once the tights are over your knee, cut a small hole right where the heel of the shoe is so it can peek through. Once the holes are cut, the heels of your shoe will effortlessly slide right through. And just like that, you have a brand new pair of sleek black boots. There's an art to touching up in between classes. But when it comes to using liquid liner, it's a whole other ball game. Steady. Whoa! Uh, it was an accident. I'm sorry. Well, this is great. This makeup remover better work wonders. I feel awful. Hey, look at the angle on this eraser. Why not use it? Start by cutting off the eraser's corner. Now put glue onto the top of a q-tip and stick that eraser piece to it. Make sure it dries a bit. Let's give this a test run. Cover it with the eyeliner and, with the help of a mirror, stamp it on and sweep it over your lid. Looks pretty good, right? And the same piece works on both lids. Do makeup artists know about this awesome trick? How's it look? It's so perfect! Who knew this thing was so versatile? Well, that sure was a delicious lunch. And don't worry, Bella. This one's on me. It's pretty cold out today, so you'd better put on your coat and zip it up nice and tight. But what happens if the zipper on the one and only jacket you bought decides to take a sick day? Seriously? Ooh, that's a bummer, isn't it? How am I supposed to get this thing back on my jacket now? Don't pout, Bella. Believe it or not, 
A fork can totally solve this kind of problem. Ready to learn how? Stick your removed zipper onto the two middle prongs of your fork. And slide each side of the zipper into the piece and pull them downward. Hey! It totally worked! I thought I was going to have to live in this thing forever. At work, it's easy to get in the zone. You totally forgot about happy hour with the girls! Don't stress! Take the straps off your cotton undershirt and slide them over your head to either side. Like so. That's it! Who knew going from daytime to nighttime could be so effortlessly chic? And it can be your little secret. Oh man, getting to this awesome hotel room was totally worth that long flight. Well, there's no better time to unpack my suitcase, I guess. Let's see here. What? You've got to be kidding! All my lotion and shampoo spilled all over my brand new blouses! Is there any way I can salvage this adorable romper? I bought it special for this vacation. Now what am I supposed to wear all week? Wait a second. Maybe I can use some of the things I'm already wearing to fashion some new looks. If you have a scarf like the one Vicky's wearing, go ahead and take it off from around your neck. Once the scarf is wrapped around you underneath your arms, gather it in front. Now take off your ring if you're already wearing one and stick the fabric through it. Now, with the excess fabric, split up the two pieces and wrap it around to your back, tying it there. Oh, hello gorgeous! That thing looks like you bought it at an expensive boutique. You should start spilling shampoo on your clothes more often. Ah, <sighs> nothing like spending your afternoon watching the same sitcom you've seen a hundred times. Hey! Um, we have plans, remember? Get it together, Helly. Save time by wearing your oversized t-shirt in a new way. Slide your arms through the neck and down to your waist. Now tuck those pesky armholes in. Well, what do you know? Cute pockets. Seriously, easiest outfit change ever, right? Let's go! Ever feel like you have so many clothes but none of them are what you're looking for? Let's try it on, shall we? Okay, so far so good. Hey, why can't I get my hand through? Huh? How did this massive hole get here? Well, looks like I'm back to square one. Stupid shirt. What a shame. Another perfectly good shirt ruined because of a senseless hole. And a mighty big hole at that. Okay, there's no salvaging it. So there's only one more thing left to do. Send this sucker straight to garbage town. Well, Mr. Shirt, it was nice knowing ya. What on earth are you doing, Bella? Justin, no! I'm about to drop some clothing hack knowledge on ya, buddy. To fix Justin's shirt, lay it out flat and cut above the seam above where the hole is. Just follow our lead here. Cut nice and slow so the cut is smooth. Once both sides are done, take them away. Now stitch this up with a sewing machine. Now, with two small pieces of trim, sew them just under the chest area of the shirt and flip them upward, creating loops. See? Don't forget to do this to both sides of the shirt. Hey, check it out! They're belt loops! Now you have an adorable synced tank top. Whoa, was that my ripped shirt? See, clothing is never ruined. Sometimes it just needs a creative mind to bring it back to life. Oh, here are your sleeves back. See ya! I just scored two tickets to that new movie. 
but it starts in ten minutes. No problem. I'll wait here. From picking out the perfect outfit and doing your hair, getting ready takes longer than a couple minutes. Almost ready, Bella? I could have been in my seat by now. It's only been one minute? May as well fix my own hair. Whoa. Is that a real diamond? What's it like to wear one of these things? Look how shiny! Is that Kevin or Kevina? Yikes, that's gross. What a trip. Huh? It's totally stuck! Okay, don't panic. Is that oil? This should slide it right off. If you have string, drizzle some oil on it. Then pull the thread off the spool. Now put the string under the band using a toothpick. Wrap one of its ends all the way up your finger. With the opposite end that's under the band, start wrapping the string upward. The band will follow. And voila! That was close. Whoa! Forgot about the towel. Should we get going? Ooh, it's time to get dresses to go out. What to wear, what to wear. This? Nah, too warm. A sweater? Not quite right. Oh, I totally forgot I had these cut-off shorts from last summer. Super cute. Yep, we found a winner. Yep, they totally fit. Wait. Oh man, my entire butt is hanging out. These are a lot shorter than I remember. Try this. Squeeze some glue along the back side of the edge of the shorts. Snag some scraps of your favorite fabric — lace is a great choice — and press it firmly on the glue. Oops! Don't forget to wrap it around the front the same way. Glue, then press. Guys, what DIYs and crafts would you like us to make? Leave a comment below! Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you want to see more of our videos soon! Who knew a pair of old shorts could look so cute? Congrats! You avoided an embarrassing booty slip. Well done! When it comes to the hottest nightclubs, you've got to dress to the nines to get in. And Vicky clearly passed the test. Bella, on the other hand, doesn't have as easy of a time getting in. Whoa, you're dressed way too casually to get into this classy joint. Please let me in? All my friends are in there. Jeez, this security guard is tough. Aw, Bella, don't cry. Maybe you can go home and change? Wait a second. The answer was sitting on my head this whole time. For this, you'll need a strapless bandeau bra and a pair of jeans. Take your bandana, fold it in half, and tie it around the small of your waist. Pull up the hanging corner and tuck it under your choker at your neck. To hold it in place, put a decorative pin or brooch on top. Ooh, that's a great choice. Wow, Bella looks like a totally different person now. Now go get in that club, girl. Whoa, is that a movie star or something? Miss, please, go right on in. Now that's more like it. Mmm. Whoa! Bella? I'm alright. My 
dignity is bruised. That was so embarrassing! Why did I wear heels? Or rather, why is this skirt so long? Hey, this is cute. It could use a cinch at the waist, though. Bingo! Pretty necklaces can make great belts. And just like that, I have a new outfit. How do I look? Pretty darn snazzy, right? Man, that was a day. I better put this jacket away. But where? Gah! Come on. Well, it looks like this thing's staying out here. A Coke! And it's cold, too. The stupid tab's in the way. There. Wait a second. This is exactly what I need. Need more space in your closet? Hook one of these onto your hanger. You'll use half the space now. And your stuff will stay nice and organized. I'm the man. Tap the notification bell to know when there are new videos from our channel. Ah. Uh. The old coffee dribble on the white shirt situation. Yikes. Lucky for Helly, all hope's not lost. Check it out! Take a marker or pen and outline the stains. Seriously, stick with us here. Your clumsiness just turned into a fantasy coffee island. Pretty impressive. Is it just me or is this way cuter than the plain white t-shirt was before? Sleeping in again, Kevin? Huh? Why is it so bright? <sighs> I guess it's time to get up. Ugh. Can't forget my lucky bracelet! I wear it every day. But it's challenging to get it on myself. Ugh. Morning cartoon time! Come on! This is so annoying! Let's try it again from a different angle. If my fingers would just stay steady… Gah! I wish I had a roommate to help. May as well keep trying. Runaway paperclip. Maybe this little guy can help me. Paper clips can help you put bracelets on solo. Stretch the clip out like this and hook one end into your open bracket. Hold onto this end with one hand. Then wrap the bracelet around and hook it. Wow! I can't believe that worked! Find these fashion hacks handy? Share the knowledge with your friends so you can all be looking sharp as can be. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss out on the awesome videos we post every week. See you all next time!